In 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the shortest economic recession occurred worldwide. It lasted for only two months, March and April, but it shook the majority of Americans. To those who aren't familiar, a recession is a substantial decline in the economic activity of a country, reflected by high unemployment rates, negative GDP, business closures, and high commodity prices. This was especially alarming to the typical American who works a 9-to-5 job to support his or her family. But did you know that you can actually reverse the negative effects of an economic recession? There are several ways to profit from it and shield yourself from it. Take, for example, the Lego company. During an economic decline, you would expect a toy company to be greatly affected, right? But no. During the 2008 recession in the USA, Lego reached record-breaking profitability with their pre-tax earnings, posting a staggering 31% increase. But how? Well, they changed the course of their trade and decided to expand their market globally, especially in Europe and Asia. They shifted their target audience when their main market was under an economic dwindle. And they did it right. It means despite a recession, you can still gain something good from it. I'll tell you how in the next few minutes. So sit tight, watch closely, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more helpful videos from Smart Money Concepts. There are multiple types of investments that you can make to obtain gains from a recession. One of these is investing in dividend stocks. Invest in dividend stocks. This is one of the best ways to earn passive income during a recession. Invest in well-established companies that have strong balance sheets and have great cash flows. These companies can surely brave an economic downturn. And the best part is they actually pay out a chunk of their profit to their shareholders. Before doing this, always do your own research and look for companies with low debt-to-equity ratios and those who have proof that they actually pay dividends. You'd probably sleep better at night because even during a dip in share prices, there's a huge chance that you will still get a return on your investment. Sounds rewarding, right? Buy gold or silver. Yes, you heard it right. Precious metals are often sought after during economic recessions because they are considered tangible assets. Investors can physically touch or hold on to them when their stocks plummet in the market. There are also benefits in investing to gold or silver. They have the tendency to increase in value even during times of uncertainty. These precious metals also have no credit risk and it can actually diversify your portfolio. In most cases, you will be evaluating pure plays, as in miners, or collections of stocks such as ETFs, but in either case, be sure to do your own research before investing. Obtain stocks from core industries. No, don't give up on your stocks just yet. During a recession, some sectors are stable and secure with their earnings, and they give their investors some solid returns. Think consumer goods, healthcare, household items, and even technology. Core stocks offer steadfast growth and are often profitable, naturally because every single one of us would still spend our dollars on basic necessities, regardless of the economic state. And let me tell you, these stocks usually perform really well during slumps. Just to tell you more about it, say, technology stocks. The COVID-19 recession caused tech stocks to do really well because millions of people were required to stay at home and even work remotely. Tech companies like Zoom, Amazon, Google, YouTube, and Netflix were clearly the winners. In 2020, Netflix and Amazon were up by 30%, whereas Zoom even doubled its value. So if you want to gain income even during an economic downfall, consider investing in these and who knows, you might even get richer. Buy real estate properties. While well, a housing investment will only be lucrative during a recession if you know how to grab the right opportunity, one tip I'd give you is this. Rent it out to a reliable tenant. Screen them, screen them, screen them. Did I say screen them? Check their credit, past employers and past addresses and landlords, as well as get reputable references. You can't be too careful. Usually, potential home buyers tend to back out of buying houses due to high prices. Rental property owners should know this and take advantage of it. This way, you can have steady cash flow even if the economy is tight. Before you invest your hard-earned money in gold or silver, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified whenever Smart Money Concepts posts a new video. Aside from putting your money into potentially profitable resources, there are also things you could do in order to recession-proof your life. Here are five ways to do it. Number one, secure another source of income. To be honest, the super-rich usually have several sources of income because they believe that diversifying income streams is just as important as diversifying their portfolio. They don't depend on a single paycheck so they wouldn't worry about their bills or earnings even if they lost one source of income. 
This method is great whether in a recession or not because your side hustles or side business might develop and you might even have more money than what you initially expected. For example, you have a full-time job on the weekdays and you have a small online baking business on the side during the weekend. As the food industry prospers and more people depend on food delivery apps, your little bakery sideline unexpectedly booms and starts to earn triple what you used to make at your day job. With a thriving business, you can now resign from your 9-to-5 job and focus on the bakery and even expand it. Number 2. Pay off your debts. According to the New York Fed's household debt and credit report for the first quarter of 2022, Americans had a total household debt of $15.84 trillion, while total mortgage loans increased by $250 billion, and car loans rose to $11 billion. So as you can see, the majority of Americans are in a tremendous amount of debt, and it's not a good idea to have high-interest financial liabilities in the middle of a recession, right? So it's necessary to eliminate your debt so that you will always be prepared in case of financial emergencies. One of your major expenditures under the debt category? Credit card balances. In the first three months of 2022, did you know that the total credit card debt of Americans reached $841 billion? There is a big possibility that most people are drowning in debt more than they do in savings, and it actually paints a bad picture for their financial futures. So I'll share with you some strategies to eliminate those credit card debts in no time. Always remember to repay more than the stated minimum amount. This way, it would take you less time to repay the whole balance. Snowball versus Avalanche you can also try either the snowball strategy where you pay off the smallest credit card balance first or you can try the avalanche method where you shift your attention to the card with the highest interest rate and pay it off first. Getting rid of these monthly obligations can surely enrich your financial status and help you in the event that a recession happens. But listen, it's best if you really manage your finances and just use your credit card for things that have value. Do not spend money you don't have on things that you don't need. Number 3. Save for an emergency fund Also, before paying off your debts, it's vital to evaluate your current financial state. Do you have enough savings to cover your lifestyle if you lose your job? If you still haven't reached your target savings yet, I'm telling you this now. It's better to allocate some of your money to your bank account first before paying your liabilities. Sort out your priorities financially. If you focus on repaying all your debts without a good amount of savings, you'll just end up on the same old cycle of borrowing money or using your credit card to address your expenses. One more thing, it's almost undeniable that job security is somehow faltering nowadays, so it's important to build your emergency fund and save up three to six months worth of living expenses. I assure you, this will be helpful to you during the economic recession. Do your research and see where you can store your money efficiently. Search for the institution that offers the highest interest rates for savings account, and this education alone, along with taking action, will surely give you peace of mind. Before you look for another side hustle to boost your income, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell first to get notified whenever Smart Money Concepts posts a new video. Number 4. Assess your expenses and cut back it's your hard-earned money and you have every right to spend it any way you want to. If that vacation or that gadget will lead to your happiness, then go for it. However, if you do this frequently and you become an impulsive buyer, then your pocket will surely run empty soon enough. I have a tip for you. Assess your monthly expenses and categorize them into two categories. The items that you can and can't live without. The things that you can't live without often include groceries, housing or rent, utilities and transportation or car expenses, while those that you can live without are vacations, cable subscriptions and luxuries like the latest iPhone model. I'm not saying that you should eliminate all of these discretionary items totally from your life. But you should always be open to the idea of removing them from your monthly budget when money is tight or when you're obviously overspending. Believe me, this could help prepare you for an unexpected market crash. Number 5. Diversify your portfolio Allocate the various segments of your portfolio to unrelated investments. When you do this the proper way, you will be sure that even if the market is unstable, your whole portfolio won't crumble. A diversified portfolio means a smoother ride during volatile market swings. Choose assets that are negatively correlated so that when one rises, the other falls. Here's an example of a diversified portfolio. 25% of your investment goes to domestic stocks, 25% to real estate investments, 15% to international stocks, 15% is allotted for precious metals like gold, 
10% to bonds, and another 10% to cash. Diversification lessens your exposure to risk and even smooths out your returns, so go ahead and invest in a variety of assets. A recession can lead to lasting impact and damage to a person's financial situation. But I hope, after watching this, that we've helped you understand the things that you should do in order to gain profits during a downturn. We are here to help you bounce back financially. Just click the like and subscribe buttons now to make sure that you don't miss our next video.